I'm Jim Hurwitz from Telecast Fiber Systems, and today we're going to talk about using our Copperhead system to multipurpose your camcorder for use other than in-camera recording. Lots of different places that you may want to do this, the most common being ENG or SNG applications to go from a camera to a truck, from multi-camera applications to go from a sports field to a control room where a multi-camera switch is taking place, or perhaps for electronic cinematography where a camera is on the set and a digital imaging technician or an engineer is offset, shading the camera or recording offset. No matter which one of these applications you find yourself in, one thing's in common, and that is that many signals are required to go in both directions between the camera and the base station. You gotta move HDSDI video from the camera to the base, gen lock or tri-level sync back to the camera, time code to the camera, camera control between the two, composite video each way, return video back to the camera, production sound if you want to record on your camcorder as an ISO, audio from the camera's microphone or a talent back to the base station, time code from the camera back to the base station, intercom between a camera operator and the director or production people back in the control room, tally signal so the camera operator knows when he's on the air, and perhaps remote pan, tilt, and zoom if there is no camera operator available. To do that, before fiber optic systems like the Copperhead were available, you had to use copper. Perhaps this looks familiar to you. Or this. Or maybe this. How about this one? And if you're going to use copper, you're talking about separate copper cables for every application. BNCs for video, XLRs for audio. Each one is separate and has to be bundled together to get your functionality. You're talking about a limited bandwidth and limited distance. And you're talking about susceptibility to electromagnetic interference, such as RF crosstalk, hum, and a cable bundle that's heavy, expensive to ship, and very fragile. That's why fiber optic systems were developed. Fiber optic systems like the Copperhead, where one small lightweight cable does everything. It gives you virtually unlimited bandwidth, unlimited distance, and it's immune to all those electromagnetic interference issues that I was talking about before. In addition, it's electrically isolating, so it eliminates any ground loop problems. The Copperhead system is made up of three basic components. The camera unit that goes on the back of the camera, typically in between the camera and the battery. The base station, a 1RU device that's designed to go in a rack in the truck or in a control room. And the fiber optic cable. Tactical fiber, this is 500 feet, easy to wrangle, easy to lift, and very, very durable. The camera unit goes on the camera, on the back between the camera, typically in the battery, using the gold mount, V mount, or any other battery system you may be using. The battery would come off, the copperhead unit would go on, in this case with the Anton Bauer gold mount, and the battery goes on afterwards and powers up the whole system. All of the interconnections happen over here, the BNCs for video, both directions, the XLRs for audio and headset, camera control so you can control your camera from your base station. The copperhead camera remote connector is connected to the camera's remote port using a copperhead camera remote cable. These camera remote cables are available for any camera manufacturer's camcorder out there, whether it be Sony, Panasonic, Ikigami, Hitachi, JVC, or anything else that's available in the professional broadcast marketplace. You can use your same Copperhead system with any of these cameras. All you have to do is change camera remote and base remote cables, and you're ready to go right into production with any camera manufacturer's camera. On the operator side, simple LEDs, a power switch, and intercom controls, volume control for program and for intercom levels and a push to talk switch make it very simple to operate at the camera end. The Copperhead base station is a 1RU device designed to go in your truck or your rack. A series of LED indicators are available for the operator. No adjustments are required at the base station. On the rear of the base station, a series of simple BNCs and XLRs give you access to all of your inputs and outputs that are required to get all the signals to and from the base station and the camera. A typical 12-volt 4-pin XLR connector powers the base station, and your fiber connectivity is here using two STs that would go out to a panel-mounted receptacle on the side of your truck or at one of your camera positions. The DB9 connector here is for the base remote cable to connect to your camera manufacturer's remote control panel, whether it be a Sony RMB or RCP, a Panasonic EC3 or RC10, or one of Ikigami's, Hitachi's, or JVC's camera control panels. Alternately, you can choose to use Telecast Universal 2050 controller. This controller works with any camera manufacturer's camcorder and gives you full iris, pedestal, paint, uh, camera control, bars, the camera's menus are available. Anything you could do with one of the camera manufacturer's control panels, you can do with this panel. The difference is 
This panel works with all camcorders. The Copperhead camera unit and base station are connected by tactical fiber cable. Tactical fiber cable is battlefield rated. It is designed for use in harsh environments. It's mill spec. It can be bent, it can be crushed, it can be driven over by trucks, by dollies, it can be walked across, it can be slammed in doors, it can be tied in knots. It's tougher than any triax, coax, or wire cable that you've ever used. The signal going through the fiber optic cable can be interrupted. If I give it a real tight 180 degree bend, I can in fact stop the signal going from the camera to the base station. Okay, I'm going to crush it here. I can make it go away, but once I release it, the signal comes right back. I have not damaged the fibers going through the cable and you're ready to move on with your production. This copperhead is equipped with the MX connector. It's an, the mini expanded beam connector. It's our most popular connector, but it's not the only connector available. You can also order your copperhead camera unit with the Neutrik optical con connector. The optical con connector is a more affordable alternative and is self-capping so that when it's not in use, the fibers are covered by a little mechanical shutter. Lastly, the system can be equipped with the Simti 304M hybrid connector, the more traditional broadcast fiber and copper connector. When you want to power the camera via the cable and don't want to use batteries, you'd use our HDX and Power Plus system. Simply remove the battery from the Copperhead camera unit and the tactical cable that was connected to the base station. You then add our Power Plus unit. The Power Plus has an Anton Bauer plate on it or, or a V-mount, a Simti hybrid connector, and the tactical fiber connector, in this case, the MX. It goes on in place of the battery on the back, and the tactical fiber connector is then connected to the Copperhead camera unit. At the base station, we interrupt the path between the Copperhead base station and the camera unit with our HDX power supply. This big power supply is connected to the AC mains, and then Simpty hybrid cable with the Simpty 304 connector is plugged in here. It's then connected to the Power Plus, and the whole system is then powered up via the Power Plus. The system provides 150 watts of power to the camera, the copperhead, and any accessories such as monitors that you may have connected to the camera during your production. So, copperhead can be used via Simpty hybrid or tactical fiber cable, or via infrastructure fiber around the building or across the campus. It can be used for live broadcast, high-end single or multi-camera studio production, or out in a truck or fly pack doing production in the field. What the Copperhead gives you is a cost-effective way to easily and efficiently dual-purpose your camcorder, no matter what production environment you find yourself in.